Okay, everybody. It's still Sunday afternoon in Wisconsin, and I have had a request from a couple of people. They would like to see something that's a little bit bright. So here we have from Mad Micah's Pow Pow Purple. We have from Mad Micah's Peacock. We have Voodoo. And we have Tahitian Teal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a clear resin and then I'm going to put that into my mold as a base. Here's my mold. I'm going to pour in the clear and then I'm going to add dribbles of each one of the colors and hopefully if I'm lucky I can get something like I did with this. I just want it to be like clouds. It's very hard to do this one but we're going to give it a shot. So I had to go over here and steal some cups from my other one, two, three, and four. All right, before I do any mixing, what do I do with the cup? There it is. All right, before I do any mixing in here, I want to get my color set up. So I'm going to take my purple popsicle stick. And I'm going to put about that much of that peacock in the one next to it. And about the same amount again. Go with the Voodoo Red. About the same amount there. Tahitian Teal. And here I'm going to vary this a little bit. because I would like a pearl effect in my colors. I'm going to use Micro Pearl from Pearl X. And it's just going to be a little bit in each one. A little bit's all I had left. I'm just about out. Here I've got used a, just a touch of interference green. And then I want to use a little bit of interference red. All right, there we go. Now, just to show you guys how minuscule this is, as I know you can't see from over here, there's just a little bit in that one, a little bit there, a little bit, and that's got the interference, and that's got the interference green. So it's not a lot, and I don't want a lot. I just want enough in there to get that streaky pearly look that everybody likes so much. Okay, now I've got those ready and set up. I'm going to take set up my scale, let it zero out with the cup. I'm going to take nine ounces of B. Whoa. 9.2 ounces of B, sorry, I went over a little bit. And now, zero, I'm going to take 9.1 ounces of A. All right, right on the money, 9.1 ounces of A. Hey Google, set my timer for 11 minutes. Okay, 11 minutes, starting now. We're going to mix this up. And it'll go from cloudy to clear. Make sure you scrape your sides down really good. If you're having a hard time finding 24 ounce cups and can only find them online at a grocery store and they also have clothes and whatnot, but I found these there and they're reasonably priced. I bought all they had. You see I just spilled right there? I always spill when I'm stirring this stuff. That's why it's a good idea to wear gloves. Alrighty. There, now we have... 
that stirred up. We'll set that there so it don't bother anything. Bring your cup to the edge so you can pour. Alright. And then stir vigorously. Ferociously. Stir well. How's that? Now, with these pearls, they tend to clump up a little bit. So, what you do is stir. Okay, see the little clumps? Leave it alone. Go to the next one. Your mica's pigments will stir in nicely. But those pearls, for some reason, then clumps will rise to the top. And you can mash them in the sides. I want just a little bit more of this incandescent. I like that pearly effect it gives. It really shows up nice. Alright. Now, I've got my four additive colors. Let me get that out of the way. And what I want to do now is with my base coat, I just, I figure, shoot, why not? I'm going to add some phosphorescent from Illumilite. And you really want to put this in, spread it around a little bit. Because if it clumps, it doesn't look good in the blank. And I'm putting quite a bit in here because I really want this to stand out. And then, for the other part of my background, I've got my sparkle. And this sparkle plenty from Mad Micas, it does a wonderful job. It looks like diamonds. All right. That's enough. So, spatula, give this a stir, try and get out all those phosphorescent clumps. You see that? That's nice and sparkly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all of this into my mold. Once I've got that established, I'm going to take those Make sure they're stirred good. And then, what I'm going to do is from up a little bit higher, I'm just going to easily dribble them. I'll tell you what, bring you guys closer so you can see what the heck I'm doing here. <sighs> Here. Now, by being up higher, I can control the depth of my individual colors. And if you leave it on top of itself long enough, it'll go a little deeper. It'll push itself down. The hoodoo red. Tahitian green. Now, at this point, I want to stir this a little bit. Don't use your popsicle stick to stir. Use a toothpick. It causes less drag. There. Don't stir too much. Just go easy. Now here's another trick. My pressure pots... Hey Google, stop timer. My pressure pots are on the other side of the room. So, 
with this being said, I don't want to stir this up much more, okay? I just added a little purple on the top because it's pretty. God, that, that did it right there, boy. And a little bit more of this. Okay. All right, now, here's the other little thing. When you pick this up, don't turn quickly. Turn really slow so you don't move stuff around and stir it up any more than you have already. Take your time. Go to your pressure box and gently set it in. Don't get in a hurry. Open the pot. One thing I want to do real quick is I want to come over with a clean toothpick and right here what I want to do with the clean toothpick is try and pop some of these bubbles that have risen up. If not, they will be in the top of my, when I open up my pressure pot in two hours. So, all right, there we have our color mixed or poured not overly mixed and take my pressure pot take my shelves my rack and I'm going to set that in there like that and then I use this because those handles hurt my fingers so bad it's one of the joys of getting old that like that and next grab my hose watch the needle missing that's my relief valve. It won't allow this to get but 55 PSI. Close enough. Gently. There. And there we're done. Gently, don't stir it around, don't shake it. This is not gently shaken, not poured or stirred. And there you have pressure pot on the floor. Hey Google, set timer for two hours and 30 minutes. All right. Okay, two hours and 30 minutes. Starting now. Okay, folks, there you have it. That's how I did this batch of Illumilite with Mad Mica colors, a little bit of Pearl X to give it that iridescence, and a little bit of Illumilite phosphorus, phosphorescent, something like that, anyway, and that'll make it glow. Hey, thanks for watching me on a second video. Have a great night. Have a good week this week. Remember, if you're working, you're paying somebody else's social security. Hey, have a good week. I'll see you next time.